Hey guys, Christian Yang here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And today, well, off screen, I built myself a nicer house because, let's be frank, that one over there with the cow pen, little cramped, not much room for storage. So I made myself a nice, beautiful, pretty house, which will probably be changed over time. But, um, we got all our stuff in here. We got that stuff and this stuff. And we did get two Dilophosaur DNA last episode. So, I'm going to, we'll probably at some point in the episode try and get these two eggs in. Actually, we might do it right now. It'll probably be pretty simple. Um, some pork chops to feed them up. Let's go. Also, torched up a bit of the way, uh, the way up to the mountain a bit because a little dark there's the big one then we're going to the smaller little one I kind of prepared a little area to hatch the eggs in ahead of time um will get my gamepedia on me never leave home without it <laughs> Dun 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 Let's go check on him. Five days. Oh, he's a little hungry. I guess I accidentally turned um hunger back on. I'll have to fix that. But I can wait till next episode. Oh man, I was about to actually sneeze there. That would have been bad because that would have been really, really loud. Uh, I might just throw the dirt in around here. I mean, it's kind of weird looking, but I can keep it like that, I guess. Or maybe I could put water around. Or maybe I could put water around here, because I do think they eat fish. If you have water in their exhibit. Kind of like the Spinosaurus. Whoa! Uh, something just popped up on my screen. 47. 48. 49, 50, 51, 52. I'm going to stop that now because that's probably getting very annoying. Uh, well, my game paused again. Sorry about that. Um, Let's see. I'm a little tired. Whoa! Sneaky, sneaky. I found out, uh, not in this world, thankfully, but um, in a different world, if you punch a dinosaur that's been tamed to you, if it's like a Dilophosaurus or anything, if you punch one, oh my gosh, be quiet, dude, you're really loud. But if you punch it, it'll say, it, like, this officer won't trust mankind anymore. Which is very interesting, and I like that. It's really fun. Very, very fun. Uh, let's see. More beautiful baby Dilophosaurus. Look how they have eating sounds now. It's kind of cool. So we have got two more Dilophosaurs in the on the island. Um, if you want to suggest a name for them, you can. Uh, I'll take any suggestion really, especially like the funny ones. Funny random names are the ones that are most likely to be picked if you want to suggest them. Um, let's see. Um, I had a bucket I could have filled with water if I wanted to clear grass, I guess, but um, I think this looks like a really good area. Um, where can we start it? How about right here? I think for our first like wave of walls, it's just gonna be like a couple blocks high walls. Made out of a random resource. 
I actually have an axe back at the house. We're gonna go grab that real quick. Cause I need an axe. I also need food. Yeah. Hmm. So I think I might tear this pen down actually. Cause um. Whoa. I was trying to load these jumps. That's why I was pausing. Also, I'm really hungry. But something. I think I'm gonna take that little pen out because. Although I did want to use it originally as like a hatchery pen. I don't think I'm actually ever going to use it that much, so you know. We might as well just break it. Bread. Well, we actually came here for an axe. Where's my axe? There's my axe. A very broken axe. And when the sun is setting, we may have to go um sleep. Soon. Yeah, but we'll try and finish this pen first. Mm -hmm. Is there like that? And this, and then like this. Nope. 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 It's gonna have to go like. No, the wall over here is just gonna have to be extra tall. I can break one dirt block. Get out of my inventory seat. We'll put a dirt block there. I don't think they'll try to escape. The creatures won't try to escape by swimming, so I think we can leave the ocean here. And now I think we better go to bed, because it's getting dark out. <sighs> I kind of want to put in a, a perimeter fence around the entire island. And for those of you who don't know what a perimeter fence is, that's basically me if I took like a... Oh, what is that? Um. Oh, okay. So it's like um, say so everyone around this island and place like one of these dinosaur exhibit walls around the entire island. That'd be a perimeter fence because it keeps stuff from coming in and stuff from getting out. Keeps invaders and other people coming to my island from getting in, and hopefully it'll keep my dinos from getting out. And that would be good. See, we're almost done with this. We're almost done with this. We just need a few more blocks. Ah! I don't know if this one will have to be especially high, because I'm not sure the creature is that is going to really be big enough to get rent itself escape from all this. I think, and if we just break another block there. Let's see. Let's break this, these ones. Um, and maybe we should break these ones. <laughs> I didn't um, realize that. Let's see. And then. Wait guys, uh, I'm gonna check something real quick. I think I'm on. Oh, uh, someone messaged me on Skype, so I uh, was just gonna answer that real quick. Uh huh. I think this area looks pretty good. We got a nice little wall going around it, but I kind of want to upgrade the wall just to be safe. In case they're like uh, the Stegosaurus in this version of the mod. Which, on um, one of my own middle world, I uh, discovered can do parkour. Hardcore parkour. The guy, like, he jumped like a three block wide chasm. 
isn't like three blocks between the fence and something that was as high as the fence onto the fence into another exhibit out of that exhibit and out of the park so stegosaurs are going to be a bit of trouble i think when we get them in we, we may need a door for this exhibit i just realized we must get a door um i think we'll expand um the wall up one more block in some areas, I just I just don't trust the creature when it comes to an area like where there's gonna be a dirt mound like that, because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be able to do that considering I'm not able to do it because I'm not very good at parkour. But I did it. Wow. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if it doesn't decide to swim. Okay, that hill right here. I'm worried about that. It'll be able to get over that, but we'll find out. If it does, I'm going to be really mad. If it doesn't, what do we do? And now to announce the animal we are going to put in there. Da 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 we are going to put the drum roll, please. Random animal. I'm kidding. We are going to put the elasmotherium in there. And I just realized I need that one. Because we got to drag a cow in. Or a sheep. We can drag an evil, evil sheep in. Because I don't think horses will work. Well, let's check. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Oh, no. I just realized the problem, guys. I actually forgot to put a door in that. I legitimately forgot to put a door in. So, we're going to um, be encountering a problem with water sheep. Water sheep, come on, sheep. You're going to swim. You're going to swim into an exhibit. I just hope you'll keep up with me. That's my main concern, I think. Ugh. What the heck was that? Intimate chasm of death, I'm going to call it. Intimate death chasm. Place where you fall to your horrible grave. I didn't even know that place existed. I want the sheep. We're going to skip slaughter where we used to pit things. Over there, and we're going to come to island over here, Shay. Well, now we have a baby rhino thing, much agree that hates everything. Goodbye. <laughs> now we have a door. Now we're going to make this wall taller. And this one taller as well. We want this to be a nice sized exhibit. Because, well, if you've seen the modern view, you know, the Elasmotheriums aren't small. Let's see. I don't like it. Right here. We have to get it. I, I just have a feeling it's going to get over the fence with this. Easily get over the fence. So let's break some of these blocks. I should have really brought a shovel. I mean, we're gonna break a couple of these. Um, I have to go close my door real quick.
Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Dun 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 dun. Let's see. I like that better. 40. I think the sheet is faster now. <laughs> Which is weird. It should be slower. To make sure that it moves the game to me, I'm going to constantly hold wheat out. I can't tell. Is the black part of the eye the sheep's pupil or the white part? If it's the white part, that is the scariest sheep I've ever seen. If it's the black part, they're obviously not very smart. <laughs> oh no, it's almost dark and I don't have torches. Hurry up! Hurry up! Ah! Let's see. Nothing over here at no day. Look at me. <sighs> Come on, sheep. Speed up. <sighs> I'm a little tired. If you in case you can't tell. <laughs> um Ah no, Mr. Sheep! Mr. Sheep! What happened there? Why did I suddenly go to a store? I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you with my fist. No! That's the problem with this. If you kill the sheep or the sheep suddenly dies to a wolf, you lose the Elasmatherium. Why did I not bring torches? You need to bring torches. 15% to go, 15%, 15% to go. I thought the chicken was going to follow me, I'm like, what? Um, let's go to a nice open area so that it, do the baby doesn't suffocate in the block. We're in a nice big area. Oh, it's going to happen soon, it's going to happen so soon. <gasps> Maybe in time so that I don't, so that I can escape to freedom. Let's bring you over here. We don't want you killing this. Baby! Aww. He's so precious. We will check him out more in the morning when it's not going to be monster eat your face time. Ah! Flee! Flee! Flee for the hills! I just noticed something new about the um, Elasmatherium. I showed this off in the review, but they actually grow. Unlike, um, what is it? The mammoths and the sabers, where they just, like, go from baby to adult. These guys actually slowly grow over time, which is very cool. Very, very cool. Where's my iron? Is that all my iron? Nope. That's my iron. And I need more wood. I may need to start a tree farm. And possibly install the tree capitator mod. Cause I'm getting tired of constantly searching for wood. Wood is the most useful one of the most useful things in the world to do use or something like that. But it takes forever to get. I don't really care about it. Why is wood so useful? I'm not actually going I just realized how stupid that question was and I'm not gonna repeat it. <laughs> Let's see. Now we have oak planks. Hmm. Um let's get some some iron tools on the go. Four um Two iron picks, an iron axe, and another iron pick. Because I think 
we're gonna go for a tiny bit longer and we are going to mine well not mine um let me get some torches we're going to more check out that area that we were in that well not that we were in that we uh fell into and died because that looked like it was a really good place for him dinosaur bone blocks fossil blocks I mean, you want the smart inventory type mod, because that's, we had that one time, and it's so helpful. Both times, actually, I think, for this series. It's so helpful, especially because it'll, when you have, like, an item in your hand, if you want more of it, it'll, and you have, like, more of it in your inventory, and you run out of it, it'll put more in your hand. Oh, I thought I was trying to try make a break for it. I like this colored one. Very cute, cute. Maybe we can try and get more of him later. I hear a slime. <gasps> well, I um killed some of the stuff. Let's take this iron. I actually have a lot of uncooked iron ore at my house, so we probably don't actually need that much more iron. I want this stuff. I think we're just gonna mine a bit more of this and then we'll end the episode. <sighs> I love this series so much. And um, I'm sorry guys for not posting very much this week. Um, I've had some trouble with uh, pretty much I've been really loaded up with schoolwork this week. Um, I had a lot. I had several tests. Um, oh, we had spinal cord. Velociraptor rib cage. I mean, oh yeah. So like, I was way late with tests. I had a lot of math and um, what's it? Writing to do. So um, I've just been really, really busy, guys. So sorry for the lack of uploads. I'll. Tr I'm trying to get back to my regular schedule. Where's the slime? I want the slime balls. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's. I guess that's all that's in here. No, it sounds like there's a cave nearby. We are going to get up the waterfall. Onto this ledge. Because I thought this is where I selected fossil. Or is it the ledge below me? Nope, it was this ledge. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to jump here. And mine straight down. Zero stuff. Um. Oh. And now we're home, and we're going to analyze this real quick, and then we'll end the episode. And then I'll probably go off screen for a little while, mine some more, fix some stuff. Mainly hunger, so the dinosaurs don't starve to death. Hmm. Ah, I think we can repair that. For no good reason, really. Uh, just, I guess, for the sake of repairing. So I guess th this episode was pretty eventful. We got a brand new creature entirely, the Elatrotherium. We got two brand new Dilophosaurs. And no brand new DNA. We did discover, however, the giant pit of death. Which was, that, that was just fun for the whole family. Who doesn't love a giant pit of death? I mean, I like giant pits of death. I'm lying. Ooh, gunpowder. Kind of wish that we could install a gun mod, but I don't really think I should. Because yeah, there actually isn't really any meat. Hmm. Let's see. So, plans. I don't have any plans. 
kind of want to make this a town, but I don't know what to build first. I mean, we've got a house and we've got like a lab, which is going to change when I get to the nether. I'm going to make it out of quartz, but maybe we can build like a tower or something, like a watchtower or several of those, and maybe make some other stuff. I don't know. There's lots of possibilities of stuff we can make. And no DNA from there. Hmm. Well, I guess, um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Set up with the lack of episodes. We'll try and post more. And peace.